right. Hey, everybody. This is Dr. Rosengren from Body Based Mindfulness Courses. And for this video segment, I want to deviate a little bit from just talking about uh, body based mindfulness. And I want to share with you something that I found super helpful. Um, anxiety has always been one of my biggest problems. And it was social anxiety that really was the plague of my existence for the first almost 40 years of my life. And social anxiety is just like this trap because you feel it, you don't want anybody to know you have it. Uh, it's worse when you have to talk to somebody or you know you don't want anybody to find out about it. It's very embarrassing, it's very shameful. I'll share with you something that really helps. It's, it's a coping skill. Now, there's a difference between healing and coping skills, but this coping skill can be really effective, effective at taking your anxiety level from here and just bring it down a couple of notches. So if you have to function out with other people, with bosses, with coworkers and whatever, you can. And this, this is called slow talk. And I may need to probably cut this into two videos, but, but the first part here, one of the biggest problems you have when, you, when there's social anxiety is talking to people. It, it, it's hard in the first place. I remember I could barely even call to order pizza on the phone. I was so nervous. I hated it. And I, I felt stupid. I knew there's nothing wrong with it, but it was so overwhelming. Slow talk is a way to help you talk with other people and feel like you're in control. The worst part about talking to people when you have all this anxiety is you start to stumble over your words and then you feel stupid and your face gets all red and then you stumble some more and it's just this downward spiral of, of negativity. So with slow talk, it allows the opportunity to practice talking really slowly so that when you need to, you can shift down into a lower gear. It's super helpful. Now, the process itself is kind of silly. In fact, it's kind of weird. What you do with slow talk is for 10 minutes a day, you practice reading something, anything, doesn't even matter what it is, as long as it's good, in a really exaggerated, slow way of speaking. So if you were reading uh, The Hobbit, you would read, in a hole in the ground, <laughs> there lived a hobbit. And you practice reading at that speed for, for 10 minutes. Now, you wouldn't want anybody to hear you doing that. It sounds really dumb. But what it, what it accomplishes is it gives you this muscle memory in your speech patterns. People think, you know, they can hear the advice. All you got to do is just slow down your speech. People think, oh, I can do that. That's easy. Except for when it's high stress you're going to revert back to, to what you've practiced. And so you got to do this slow talk for 10 minutes a day. And as you do that, and I, I, I guarantee you it works because it worked for me and it was great. It, it allows you to, again, you know, to shift gears. Think of a car shifting down into first gear. And, and once you can get control over your voice, once you can get control over the shakiness, if you need to slow down, when you slow down, the people kind of go, hmm, okay, he's got it together. You know, you're, you're not stumbling over your words and you're not stuttering and you're not losing track of what you want to say in the middle of what you're saying. And it allows other people to feel like you know what you're talking about and allows you to feel just maybe that much more confident and calm about what you're saying. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't cure the social anxiety. It sure is a great coping skill to, to have in your back pocket if you really if you've got that interview. There's somebody really important you want to not sound like an idiot. And so it can, it can be really helpful. So I, I encourage you all and invite you to, to practice it. Don't think you can do it just because you can, you know, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That, that's easy. Practice it 10 minutes a day and, and just notice what difference it'll make. Once you practice it for a little while, then you kind of test it out with people. You don't have to, you know, talk like a zombie, but if you just slow down your rate of speed a notch and realize that you can feel a lot better about it. Hope that works. Hope that helps you. Talk to you later. Thanks.